So I'm going to go over um, modeling for polygons, but using NURBS, and um, don't freak out. We'll have the modeling tab open under create polygon primitives. You know how you have all your stuff here, your polygons you would make. Well, NURBS is right above it. It's, it's like polygons. It's just a, um, it's a surface that's smooth, not like polygons that, it, you know, are hard edged. Um, and what I'll do is we'll create NURBS primitive, a plane. We'll go in the options box. And UNV patches is basically the same thing you would set when you're creating a polygon plane, like 4x4, four four, you know, edges on it. That's basically what that is, the patches. I'll create it. I'm going to scale it up. Hit 5 key to go into shaded mode. 4 key to go into wireframe. And it looks kind of just like a polygon, you know. It has the 4 by 4, just like it would have. They call them U and V patches and NURBS, and they're faces and polygons. Hold down right mouse button. I have object mode, which is what I'm in now, where I can move the thing as an entire object. Isoparms, which are basically equivalent of polygon edges. But, um... They don't work as well as polygon edges. Anyway, control vertex, which is like the vertices. You can see them better now. They're purple, just like verts. Except when I grab one of these. On a polygon, we'd have a really hard-edged um, thing. And notice that it only pulls a little with it. It's like weighted. It doesn't. The pull on it isn't 100%. And unlike a polygon, I have an actually a really nice smooth, um, a really nice smooth bump there. And this is what's great about the ner about NURBS is I'm just taking these control verts here, and I'm kind of just moving them all around, making it nice and smooth. Um, let me drag some more here. Okay, so you can see how you could model with that, and you could build something out of NURBS like this. But we want to use polygons, we're polygon modelers, so we'll take this NURBS object we just did. We just kind of built a little, and um, it's smooth. We want it in polygons, so we're going to go modify, convert NURBS to polygons. We're going to go in the options box. Alright, and in the object spot, options box, we're going to hit reset. We don't want to mess with these settings right now. We just want quads, type, and then tessellation method, general. We want per span number of isoparms, per span number of isoparms, and we want to set it to 1. Per span number of isoparms basically means how the amount of isoparms that are spanning across this NURB surface here, there's three running down the middle and three running down that middle, um, will exactly convert one to one to polygons with the ones here. Every single isoparm will convert to one equal polygon edge. And when I hit tessellate, you see what I'm talking about. And I'll drag it over. And already you can tell it doesn't look nice and smooth like the NURBS, but it did take the basic shape. And you'll also notice in our conversion, every exact spot there was an isoparm on the polygon, it's in the same spot. And that was the per span number of isoparms one. To demonstrate that, and this also, notice that it's not smooth, because polygons aren't smooth by nature, but it did hold the same shape. We'll delete the polygon we created, select our NURB surface again, modify, convert NURBS to polygons, and we're going to tell it for every one isoparm on the NURB surface, we want three polygon edges. We're going to hit tessellate, pull it aside, and you will notice a major difference. Pretty much at this point now, with three subdivisions, we might have been able to get away with two. The polygon has taken every one isoparm and gotten three edges down the polygon for it. And what that did for us is the surface shapes are almost identical now in shape and smoothness. 
This one, faces, verts, edges. This is a polygon, beyond a doubt. This is an herb surface. Isoparms and control verts. Now here's a neat thing. Since this ner polygon was produced off of this NURB surface, they share a history. Look at that. Whatever you do to this NURB surface will be done to the polygon surface anywhere on it. Check that out. Unless you select your NURB surface and go edit, delete by type, history. Hold on. I hope my theory doesn't backfire. And so far it is. Hold on, let's select the polygon object and try delete by type history. There we go. I had it backwards. So now our NURB surface is independent of the polygon surface. And that's cool because that'll let you make like one patch for the polygons or whatever and just toss it aside and then you can go work with this some more and tweak it and it won't affect that polygon you know and you can go and just go modify convert nerves to polygons and um, there we have our new, new surface you can just start patch modeling as they call it um, basically, that's it for converting from NURBS.